Hi, uh, this tutorial I will cover data access object pattern or DO pattern. So what is the use of uh, this data access object pattern is it is used to separate low level data accessing API or operation from the high level business services. You will see one diagram so that you will understand uh, this clearly. So you can see in the right side uh, DB and in the left side uh, business layer. So the business layer is responsible for doing some business operation or functionality and in between database and business layer there is another layer called uh, DO layer. So what is the main use of uh, this DO layer is uh, it is mainly used to perform the CRED operation. So what is CRED? Uh, CRED meaning create, retrieve, update and delete. So this layer is responsible for creating some record in the database table or get some record from the database table or update some record in the database table or delete some record in the database table. So to perform this CRED operation it will use uh, low level accessing APIs like JDBC API or Hibernate APIs. So this DOA layer will have method to perform the CRED operations. Okay. So this is the intermediate layer between the business layer and database. Uh, it is used to separate low level accessing API from the high level uh, business service. Okay. And if you see the second uh, uh, explanation, uh, DO layer is responsible for data access from the persistent storage. So this is responsible for getting some record from the database table. That is what it is mentioned. So it is responsible for data access from the persistent storage. Persistent storage can be a DB or LDAP or file system and also it is responsible for manipulation of data in the persistent storage. Uh, meaning you can create some record, update some record in the database table or delete some record in the database table. So it is also used for uh, data access from the persistent storage and also you can perform the manipulation of uh, data. Okay. And the third explanation is decouple the persistent storage implementation from the rest of the application. So this layer is decoupling the persistent storage implementation from the rest of uh, rest of the application. Suppose say uh, in database one uh, employee table is there. So what this uh, DO layer will contain is uh, like methods like uh, creating uh, employee record in the employee table or update employee record in the employee table or delete uh, record employee record from the employee table or get some employee record from the employee table. So it will have a method to perform that one. So it, it uh, this DO layer will only contain uh, methods to access the database. Okay. So it won't contain any logic like uh, any business functionality all those things. It will just contain uh, methods to perform the CRED operation. Okay. So this is about uh, data access object uh, design pattern introduction. And I have created a separate video for uh, data access object uh, design pattern class diagram and sequence diagram. And I have created one more video for how to implement uh, DAO design pattern. So please log into my channel and watch those videos to understand more about uh, this data access object uh, design pattern. Thanks for watching. Bye.